Good morning, welcome back. It is Wednesday, and today we are going to crack a pack of 2022 Panini Donruss. These are the fat packs <clears throat> that I picked up on the markdown. Well, they were in the card section, but they were obviously marked down. So I was happy to find them. And we've been ripping these, trying to see what we can pull. <coughs> of course, I'm trying to complete some of the insert sets. It's just been a fun search. We have pulled a one of one out of these. I believe it was a Michael Self. I do the best I can to get the uh, print runs in there. But yeah, it was like a Michael Self 82 or 81 Donner throwback one of one. So it's pretty cool to actually pull a one of one out of these. We pulled a couple of, uh, of relics. I think we may have even pulled an auto out of one of these. <clears throat> but I've still got plenty of these to go, so we're going to continue to see these. And I'm going to continue putting base sets together. I think I've got four base sets all together right now, but don't really know. Derek Krause, on the strength of a... He, he ran really strong in the college car. Wouldn't be surprised. Maybe if he gets some sponsorship and they get that deal put together. Carson Hosevar had that win at Texas in somewhat controversial fashion. Tommy Joe Martins, co-owner of Alpha Prime Racing. Really like to see them be able to get some big sponsors and step up their program to the next tier. <coughs> Excuse me, Vinny Miller. Haven't seen him much the last year or so. Kevin Harvick with this weird pink background car, card. Of course, he is in the, his last full-time season. Wonder if he'll come back and maybe when Keelan gets up to the trucks or Xfinity, if he'll maybe run a race or two with him. Have to wait and see. Chase Elliott. Brandon Brown. Michael McDowell, former Daytona 500 winner. Having a quiet season, not a bad season, and not a season like last year where he was constantly fighting for top tens, but he's just having a quiet season. Kurt Busch just announced that... Uh, <clears throat> at Darlington, that he and Ricky Craven will be co-starters for that race for the 20-year anniversary of their famous uh, closest finish in history. Matt Kenseth, former champion. Cole Custer, <clears throat> who had the pole at Martinsville but kind of fell back through the field. He's kind of had a quiet, more lackluster year than a quiet year at the Xfinity. This year's Bush Clash winner, or Bush Light Clash, or whatever they're calling it this year, uh, MTJ, not having a strong season, to be truthful. Tony Stewart, who won his first national NHRA top alcohol dragster event at the Four Wide Nationals this past weekend. There we have Smoke <coughs> once again. I apologize, I just cannot get over this cough. I've tried uh, different over-the-counter stuff, and it's just, just uh, <coughs> is what it is. I deal with this all the time, so... Ryan Truex, or as the media likes to say during races, Ryan Truex Jr. Haley Deegan. Ryan Newman. Who'll be running SRX this year. <coughs> Michael Waltrip. And we're getting into our parallels and inserts. Gray Border, Mark Martin. Carolina Blue, Stephen Parsons. Jeremy Clements. <clears throat> Brittany Zamora, and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Then we have an optic of Alex LeBay, and our Carolina Blue Wave optic, Sam Mayer. Now we'll get to our regular inserts here. Alex Bowman, action-packed. Kurt Busch, Elite Series. Ryan Blaney, victory laps during his Daytona win a couple of seasons ago. Contenders, Joey Logano. And then we have, <coughs> ooh, a nice, is that a checkerboard? Checkerboard <coughs> of William Byron. And we do have our code card. Well, overall, I think this is the card of the day. <clears throat> I mean, didn't get any hits, didn't get any numbered cards. 
the Blue Wave Optic was kind of cool, but I think this one, just because, <coughs> again, the checkerboard really makes certain elements stand out. And I apologize for this cough. Um, just <coughs> been doing a lot of outside mowing and trimming at work. And I've been taking allergy medicine and nothing's really helping me right now. But we'll get past this and we'll just deal with it as best we can. So any thanks again for watching. Come back at noon for Fast Packs and we'll see you later.